Hi, my name is Manny. I'm coming to you from Word of Faith Christian Center. This morning, I want to just share a little scripture with you. In fact, not a little scripture, quite a big one. We know the story of David and Goliath, and we know how David slew, slew Goliath. And I just want to remind you of this. The Bible says, um, David ran, stood over him. He took hold of the Philistine sword, threw it from the sheath, and he killed him. He cut off his head with the sword. We know that part of the story. But I want to touch, that's in 1 Samuel 17. But fast forward a few chapters, which is a couple of years, um, David finds himself in a bit of a predicament. And he's on the run at that, that time from Saul, uh, Saul and his army, and they were out to get him. They were going to kill him. If they got a hold of him, they were going to kill him. So it was really a dire straits kind of a situation. He was in a bit of a pickle. Then 1 Samuel chapter 21, verse 8 and 9, and I want you to grab this, uh, this little revelation. And I'm speaking to you this morning about the importance of living victoriously. So 1 Samuel chapter 21, verse 8 to 9 says, David asked Ahimelech, do you have a spear or sword? The king's business was so urgent that I even had, didn't even have time to grab a weapon. So firstly, David made a bit of a fib here, but um, he, 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 he lied. But the point is he was under attack. He was about to be killed. So he goes and he asks the king, do you have a sword? Because uh, I was about the king's business and I had to just shoot off and I didn't have time to grab my sword. But then he says, the king says to him, verse 9, I only have the sword of Goliath, the Philistine, whom you killed in the valley of Elah. The priest replied, it is wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. Take that if you want for there is nothing else here. Then David replied, there is nothing like it. Give it to me. So what I want to share with you this morning, it was so important for David in chapter 17, a few years later, uh, earlier when he was still a young man. It was so important for him to, to take the task and take the assignment that God put on, uh, on him and slew the the, the, the giant. If he did not kill the giant, he would not have had the giant sword. <laughs> listen to this. Listen to this. If he did not slew the giant, he would not have had the giant sword. And when he needed a weapon at a time when he was the most desperate, he would not have, when he got to Ahimelech and he asked for a spear or a sword, he would have told him, sorry, we don't have any spears and we don't have any swords. But in this case, because he slew the giant at the time when he needed to slew the giant, the sword became available at a time when he needed it most. <laughs> Did you get that? When he slew the giant at the time when the giant needed to be slewed, the sword of that same giant, which became part of his protection, which became part of his weaponry, was available to him at a later stage. I want to encourage you this morning. Make sure you do not run away from battles. I'm not talking about um, just running away because of the, but do not fear. Don't let any fear get a hold of you because sometimes in that very battle is weapon or weapons or uh, there's, there's, there's things that you need for battles that are still to come. Listen, there's a stretching, yes. Sometimes it feels awkward, yes. Sometimes it feels completely out of your depth, but... When you slew the giant at the time that you need to slew the giant, you know what happens? There are things, there are spoils and there are wins. There are things that you're going to get from that battle that you need for future battles. In the name of Jesus, I want to leave that with you. Let me pray for you quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that, Lord, we thank you for the mountains. We thank you for the valleys. We thank you, Lord, for the ups, for the downs. We thank you for the hard times. We thank you for the good times, the easy times of God, because sometimes 
It's those very hard valley moments, oh God, that actually prepare us for the mountaintop experiences. It's those very hard and, and, and stretching moments in the, uh, at the hardest of times, oh God, that actually show us who we really are. It's those very moments where we have to face the Goliath that we are ready, oh God, to take on the soul and his armies in a later stage, oh God. Let us open up our eyes and our minds so that our eyes and our minds link up with our spirit as it links up with you, O oh God, so that whatever we need to do and whatever we need to tackle and deal with right now, O oh God, we will do what we need to do so that whatever lays in the future, whatever battle lays in the future, we're able to take that on in Jesus' mighty name. We'll fight today so that we can fight tomorrow in Jesus' mighty name.